Hello, this is Tony Heller from RealClimateScience.com. The United States climate has not been cooperating at all with global warming theory. The frequency of hot days in the United States has plummeted over the last century, even as the amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere has rapidly increased. What's happening is the opposite of what climate alarmists predicted, and also the opposite of what's being reported to the public by the press. And not only is the frequency of hot days decreasing in the United States, but also the area of the United States which is affected by very hot weather sometime during the year. The percentage of the United States which reaches 95 degrees Fahrenheit or 35 degrees Celsius has dropped sharply since the 1930s. And to be clear, all of the data I'm showing you in this video is taken directly from the official U.S. government National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration website. This data is freely accessible to everybody who has access to the Internet. I've been reporting for many years how NOAA alters the U.S. temperature record to turn a cooling trend into a warming trend. This is the actual thermometer data, and this is what NOAA reports to the public. Until the last few years, they were altering the data closely to match the increase in carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. In this graph, along the x-axis is the amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, and along the y-axis is the amount of data tampering which NOAA is doing. Until a few years ago, the amount of data tampering was closely tracking the rise of CO2 in the atmosphere. They were altering the data to match their global warming theory. But over the past few years, there's been a sharp increase in the amount of data tampering. Let's take a closer look at this change in algorithm using the most recent data, including 2021. The United States is just coming off of one of the coldest Memorial Day weekends on record. At Washington, D.C., it was the coldest Memorial Day weekend by a wide margin. May afternoon temperatures have dropped sharply over the last 90 years in the United States, with the past three years being among the coolest on record. In 1934, almost 60% of May days in the United States were over 80 degrees Fahrenheit. But over the past three years, 80 degree days during May were only half as common as they were in 1934. The United States, which has by far the most accurate and complete temperature record in the world, is not cooperating at all with climate alarmists. So NOAA is massively altering the data to turn a long-term cooling trend into a warming trend which they report to the public. Over the past 30 years, there's been a sharp cooling trend in January to May temperatures in the United States. And anyone who spends a lot of time outdoors, like I do, is aware of the cooling trend we've been seeing. I spent much of my time during the 1990s and the first decade of this century coaching soccer teams. Over that couple of decades, I watched the number of games and practices being disrupted by cold weather and snow greatly increasing. 25 years ago, springtime temperatures were much warmer than they are now. Now we're getting snow late into the spring. But NOAA is trying to hide this cooling trend from the public by making it look like temperatures are increasing. NOAA is tampering with the temperature data to create the appearance of a non-existent warming trend. Over the past three years, the percent of January to May days above 60 degrees Fahrenheit has been the lowest since the start of the 20th century. And the same story with the percent of days above 70 degrees Fahrenheit. And this is also true with the percent of days above 80 degrees Fahrenheit. There's no question that United States afternoon temperatures have gotten much cooler over the last 90 to 100 years. But reality doesn't match what government bureaucrats want the public to believe. As I already mentioned, until a few years ago, the amount of data tampering which NOAA was engaged in closely tracked the increase in carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. But over the past five years, as you can see, NOAA has changed their data tampering algorithm. Now the amount of data tampering is increasing at an incredible rate. Just over the past five years, NOAA has increased the amount of data tampering by almost 1.5 degrees Fahrenheit. This graph shows the same thing, except along the x-axis I'm plotting atmospheric carbon dioxide instead of year. While the atmosphere was below 400 parts per million carbon dioxide, the amount of data tampering was closely tracking the increase in CO2. 
But as you can see, above 400 parts per million CO2, there's been a break in slope in the amount of data tampering. The government has sharply increased their abuse of data, their abuse of science, and their abuse of the public trust. I used to think this was the biggest scientific fraud in history until I lived through the past year. And at this point, the government and the press seem to lie about essentially everything related to science. There seems to be very little actual science being relayed to the public by the press. Now they rely on dishonest academics whom they call experts. That'll be the topic of Toto's next video. He's been pulling back the curtain on junk science for the past 13 years. You can visit Toto and Kyrie on the web at realclimatescience.com.